This video is brought to you by Skillshare. 3D modeling and animation software are an essential part of creative projects like video games, films, architecture, and commercials. Today we're going to talk about two powerful 3D packages which are Cinema 4D and Blender, and we will try to compare them to see what they are capable of in different 3D computer graphics fields. Architectural Visualization In this field, Blender has seen a lot of growth over the years because now it is equipped with a lot of tools that can help architects and designers create and render their interior and exterior scenes using a wide range of modeling, texturing, lighting, and rendering tools. Modeling and architectural visualization is not a problem using Blender because there are a lot of tools and add-ons that can make this task suitable for beginners and professionals. For example, there are free and paid modeling add-ons that can help you build houses and buildings in a matter of hours rather than days. In addition to that, Blender has a great system for adding materials and lighting. And when it comes to rendering, Blender has two powerful render engines, cycles for doing final renders, and EV for real-time rendering. On the other hand, Cinema 4D is also a great 3D package for architectural visualization. To be honest, this is one of the few areas where it excels. Like Blender, Cinema 4D is great for modeling and adding materials, lighting and rendering your interior and exterior scenes, and one of the great things about Cinema 4D is its simplicity. And since architects and designers are not the most artistic people, this software makes sense to them, especially if you are not familiar with complex 3D packages. And Cinema 4D has support for the most popular third-party add-ons in the industry, whether it be for rendering, modeling, populating scenes, adding materials, adding plants and vegetation, and more. Compared to Blender, Cinema 4D has been popular in this field for a long period of time, but Blender has grown a lot in the last decade, which makes it a fierce competitor in ArcViz because a lot of people, even professionals, are starting to integrate it in their workflow. Simulation, Dynamics, and VFX When it comes to simulation, dynamics, and effects, both Blender and Cinema 4D have good tools for creating soft body and rigid body dynamics, which is necessary to do a lot of things. But when it comes to simulation of cloth, liquids, fire, smoke, the native tools of Blender are superior to those of Cinema 4D because Blender for the longest time relied on its own tools for effects and simulations. On the other hand, Cinema 4D relies on third-party plugins to do this type of work. Plugins like Xparticles, which is one of the best and most popular, in addition to Fume Effects for fire and smoke, and RealFlow for fluid simulations, just to name a few. But as a Blender user, you can also take advantage of the emerging powerful tools and add-ons for Blender, like Flip Fluids, which is pushing the boundaries of possibilities even further. Also, both Blender and Cinema 4D have good motion tracking tools for VFX work that is more suitable for low-budget films. Motion Graphics and Advertising For motion graphics work, Cinema 4D is the go-to 3D package because it has been equipped over the years with many tools and features to cater this section of computer graphics industry artists, and this is apparent if we look at how many big-budget movies that need motion graphics were created with the help of this software. Maxon, the developers of Cinema 4D, made sure to dominate this section of 3D computer graphics by adding easy-to-understand and user-friendly tools for modeling, animation, simulation, and effects. Advertising is a big market for studios and artists using Cinema 4D that focus on this type of work, because it is used to produce commercials for some of the biggest brands and companies in the world. On the other hand, Blender is also good for motion graphics because it has also good tools for animation, simulations, and dynamics, or anything else needed for motion graphics work, in addition to some nice add-ons that can make the process easier and faster. Overall, I think that Blender is catching up in terms of motion graphics, especially in advertising because many people are using it already and it is impacting this industry due to its good and powerful tools and features. But Cinema 4D has been used for this type of work for a long period of time, and it has more tools and resources to learn and practice, which makes it more favorable compared to Blender. Character Animation Even though Cinema 4D is lately being developed further when it comes to rigging and animation by adding better and easier to use tools to make the lives of animators easier, it is not that great compared to a software such as Blender. We're not saying that Cinema 4D is not good. But Blender has the upper hand in this department, according to the experience of many character animators. Blender was developed to be a 3D modeling and animation package in the first place, 
and the Blender Animation Studio worked on many animated films to showcase its power and develop it further by creating better and more intuitive tools that make achieving those projects even faster and easier. Overall, Blender has great rigging and animation tools that can pretty much help you animate anything. 2D Animation what makes Blender even better for animation is the fact that it has a fully fleshed 2D animation system known as the Grease Pencil. It can do almost everything related to 2D animation and it can be used to create full animated movies like the movie I Lost My Body and the short film Hero. The 2D drawing and animation tools in Blender are not limited only to character animation because it also can be used for doing concept art, storyboarding, and 2D motion graphics. On the other hand, the 2D stuff in Cinema 4D are very limited compared to Blender, but there are some Toon Shady features that can help turn something from 3D to 2D. If you are interested in learning more about how to become a better 3D artist, I recommend you try Skillshare. Skillshare is a learning platform that has thousands of classes on a variety of different topics. If you want to learn Blender or Cinema 4D, you can find a lot of classes that can help you do that step by step. For example, they have a lot of classes about Blender, and I recommend this class that will teach you how to create and design a modern interior in Blender. You will learn about the basics of modeling, adding materials, lighting, and rendering. Some examples of the classes about Cinema 4D that you can find on Skillshare include a motion graphics class that will teach you how to design an 80s inspired motion graphics in an easy and creative way. You can also check this class that will teach you how to learn and create animated ocean loop in Cinema 4D and After Effects. And if you are completely new and you want to learn more about the basics, I recommend this introductory class for getting started with Cinema 4D. And the good news is, it is very affordable because you just need to pay less than $10 per month to get access to all these fantastic classes. The first 1,000 people who will sign up through our link will get two months of premium membership for free. Links in the description. 3D Modeling and Sculpting In terms of 3D modeling, Blender has many advantages over many other 3D packages. For example, it has a lot of modifiers that can make the process much faster and easier, in addition to the wide range of add-ons that shape with it and give it an enormous boost in terms of what you can do especially for architecture and hard surface modeling. Cinema 4D also has good tools for modeling, but where Blender completely beats Cinema 4D is when it comes to sculpting, because its sculpting tools are not that advanced compared to those of Blender. Right now, Blender is one of the best alternatives to ZBrush because it has been pushed so hard to make it better sculpting software in the last couple of years. Basically, it now has a lot of sculpting features that are similar to what you can find in ZBrush. Lighting and Rendering When it comes to rendering, there are built-in renderers for Cinema 4D, namely Physical Renderer and ProRender. Both are decent enough, but given now the technology has advanced in the last years, they are probably not the best option to stay on top of your game. Now Cinema 4D comes with Redshift, which was acquired by Maxon recently. Redshift is one of the best render engines you will ever use with Cinema 4D because it is a super fast and efficient render engine. There are also other powerful render engines that can be used with Cinema 4D such as V-Ray, Octane, and Arnold. They are all great and can be good for different projects. Blender, as we said, has a very strong real-time render engine known as EV, in addition to the main render engine cycles. They are both great if you want to work on any type of project, but if you want to try something else, there are third-party render engines such as Radeon Pro Render, Octane Render, and V-Ray, just to name a few. The User Interface When it comes to the user interface, Cinema 4D has always been known for having a clean interface that can be both intuitive and beginner-friendly. On the other hand, Blender has been known for the longest time for having a user interface that is not very attractive and kept many new users and professionals away from it. But in the 2.8 release that happened a couple of years ago, things changed for the better and the interface became way more attractive and user-friendly, which generated a new wave of Blender users, both beginners and professionals who decided to switch to using Blender. The Learning Curve In terms of the difficulty of learning these two software, I would say that based on the experience of many new and experienced artists, Cinema 4D is one of the easiest 3D software to learn and use. This does not make Blender hard to learn. I would say it is kind of different. In my personal opinion, I believe that the ease of use or difficulty of learning something is highly correlated with the willingness to learn and how much time and effort you are willing to invest. I mean that two different people can find Cinema 4D or Blender hard to learn depending on how bad they want to learn it. 
if you want to start your journey in the 3D world, you can do this today because there are tons of learning resources out there from YouTube videos to courses and classes all over the place. Pricing and licensing. This is where Blender blows every major 3D package out of the water because it is completely free and open source. This means that you can get all the amazing tools and features for free, no questions asked. On the other hand, Cinema 4D is not free, but it is one of the most affordable among software such as 3ds Max, Maya, and Houdini. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.